Hi, good afternoon. Can you please uh, start off by uh, giving me your name? Sure, I'm Bishop Doug Fisher of the Diocese of Western Massachusetts, the Episcopal Diocese. Uh, good day, Bishop. My question to you is, um, what are your thoughts about today, and uh, do you have any comments that you would like to, um, to add? Sure. Well, I'm just here to, uh, to support Danny and his work, but also as a bigger picture to support ministry to our veterans. Um, in our diocese, our church, we've really committed ourselves to work with the veterans because it's similar to Matthew 25, where we're told, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was sick, you visited me. I think we can add to that. When I came home from war, when I came home from service to my country, you were there for me. And I think it's a real crisis in our country right now, the way uh, the vet way veterans are unemployed, the way they're treated, and uh, we would like really like to be there for them. Um, one of the ways that we're attempting to do that is right here in Northampton. We have the Cathedral in the Night, and we know that a number of veterans go to Cathedral in the Night. And um, we're going to have a, an afternoon each week where we have lunch for veterans, uh, in which, again, we give them some nourishing food, but also have conversation about what their lives are like. And, um, what their needs are and how churches and social services might be able to, to be there for them. We're here at Joe Ryan uh, Imported Auto Repair. Joe and I go back to day one grammar school and he knew my dad and he's a, one of our first supporters here feeding the homeless, getting the homeless veterans into housing. Hi, my name is Joe Ryan and uh, I grew up in Hoyoke with Danny and uh, I knew his family from Smith's Ferry, and uh, I knew his dad, and um, we went to school together. Um, and I'm trying to do what I can for the vets and supporting uh, the homeless and the vets. And, uh, you know, I've been in Northampton here for 36 years, and uh, I've watched plenty of changes in Northampton, but I've always been able to try and do my best to, to help the area so and you've seen the homeless cry. I mean there were oh, not yeah. anywhere near as many homeless no. years ago. I mean it, isn't it just growing it seems oh, yeah. year after yeah. year there's more and more yes so well we appreciate your support we really yeah. do bless you okay yes this is downtown Daniel here representing the brothers and sisters of humanity the Tuskegee Airmen's Fund for homeless veterans and feeding the needy. And we've got a, a family owner, manager of Smithsonian Chowder House here, one of our most avid supporters. And he'd like to tell you, the public, how he wants to get involved in Northampton's homeless community. Yeah, basically all the leftover uh, soups and pastries, we're going to try to create a little program here where we can recycle those and uh, get those into the hands of the people that need them. Which means that for the public, uh, as time goes, whatever products they can, they'll freeze and save uh, pastries also, soups, and we'll have the churches pick them up, hold them, and distribute them to the homeless community on the streets. And we really appreciate this kind of support you step into the plate like this. Thank you. We're here at Downtown Sounds in downtown Northampton. Here with Downtown Daniel, I've got Joe Blumenthal, owner of Downtown Sounds, who was one of the first people a few years back to step to the plate and help us give us legs to get this far. And uh, we just want Joe to say a few words about uh, how he appreciates helping us and how we appreciate his help. Well, I was very uh, interested to hear about this whole project of uh, you know, having a musical performance to um, support this uh, Tuskegee Airmen Fund for the Homeless, and it was something I was very happy to be taking part in, and uh, I um, hope I'm able to get to some of the performances sometime. And uh, we really appreciate people like you and Joe Ryan, who are pillars of this community, who stepped to the plate for us. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. Whoa! 
It's downtown Daniel. We're here in a Harlow luggage with uh, the owner. I'll let him introduce himself and tell you what he did to help us get legs and how he feels about the homeless situation and helping vets who are homeless, especially while we're putting more meals on for the street people. Okay, my name is Bob Burdick, uh, and I'm one of the owners of, of Harlow luggage. And uh, uh, Daniel, who's a pretty persistent character, however, uh, uh, he, he knows that I'm, uh, I'm very sympathetic to the homeless cause, especially his cause, uh, uh, going back to the Tuskegee Airmen. Um, I've always uh, uh, felt a, a kind of a special bond with Daniel because of that. I think that's, uh, uh, that it's uh, uh, a very noble cause that he's, uh, he's associated with. We've helped him out with some small donations, buying some tickets for him and things like that. Plus, we're always very supportive. We'll, we'll, we'll post his posters. We'll let him know. Uh, we'll, we'll let uh, our customers know uh, what, what Daniel's doing and uh, to let them know that everything is going to a very, very worthy cause. And we really appreciate your support and God bless. Well, it's Thank always you. our pleasure and, and God bless you too. 